Well, good morning. It's Tuesday morning. That is Tuesday. That's right. It's Tuesday morning. I tell you, this is one of my favorite times of the year. I know people have all these allergies and everything, but I love it because when I look around and I see everything green, and oh, we have yeah. had so much rain, it's been so nice, and you see everything just growing. But it just you know. means you have to mow more. Well, I, who cares? <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just one of those things. I want to go back to Psalms 91 this morning, and I want to talk about uh, living in his shadow. And David says this right here in verse 1, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You know, Marsha, I can remember when I was just a little kid uh, that uh, my dad, I always thought my dad was big, you know, yeah. my dad, and I remember as a little kid, we would be walking on some... Normally, it's out working or something, and and I would see my dad's shadow, and I would try to walk in my dad's in my dad's shadow. And what I found was, the further I got away from him, the harder it was to stay in his shadow. But the closer I got to him, it was easier to stay in the shadow mm -hmm. um, that he provided. And I like what David said, that uh, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. He is the hope that holds me and the stronghold to shelter me, the only God for me. He is my great confidence. And I think when David talks about that, I think it talks about that, that intimate relationship that we have with God, you know, the closeness, not just, it's, being a Christian is not just about uh, going to heaven, you know, it's, uh, and it's really even more than just having a relationship. You know, it is having that fellowship. You and I have a relationship. We're called husband and wife, okay? Mm -hmm. But that doesn't, I mean, we know that we can intentionally not spend time with each other. And if you intentionally spend, not spend time with each other, you, you, you know, you move Grow apart. apart. Yeah, you, you do. Apart. Yeah. yeah, natural thing. I think the same thing is true in the spiritual realm. If the only time we ever talk to God or have anything to do with God is in church, then we are missing part of the greatest uh, fellowship that you can have right. in this earth. Yeah, that's right. You know, when I talk about shadows, though, I remember when uh, I uh, used to teach adaptive PE with special needs kids, and uh, there's this one little boy, he was uh, Down syndrome, and he had this infatuation with shadows. <laughs> and we'd be out doing PE, you know, with them, and I tried to get him to do an activity, but all he wanted to do was run and jump on the shadow. And then he'd watch another kid and run, jump on that shadow. That's why he got his exercise. But, you know, it always made me laugh about the shadow because he realized there was a shadow there, you know. And we need to realize that God has a shadow, yeah. and he wants us under that protection. You know, this scripture, we talk very strongly to our daughter and she went on a missions trip to Albania. Yes. And the story is that they were coming down this mountain, and this, <laughs> the, the driver, here's the way she described him. He had a cigarette in one hand, because see, they had hired the drivers for these <laughs> missions trips. He had a cigarette in one hand, he had one hand on the steering wheel and his foot, uh, left foot up on the, on the window. <laughs> and they're going over this mountain, and I mean, it's thousands of feet down. <laughs> And all the girls and all the guys were just freaking out. And yeah. she said, I was especially. But I remembered my dad taught us <laughs> about Psalms 91. And I, I read that to him. And we got down in the floorboard and prayed in the spirit <laughs> and prayed in Psalms 91 Amen. to stay under the shadow of the Almighty for protection. Amen. And they made it down the mountain. They made it down the so, mountain. Amen. Praise God. But Aaron to this day believes uh, in Psalms 91 yeah. because of the truth that is there. Maybe because of that, the, the closer we are to him, the better chance we have of making it through. <laughs> I think so. You know, she believes that. She, believes she knows that. that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I just believe that God wants to be a part of our lives, you know. Uh, he wants to not just you know, we have this this relationship, and I hear people talk about this, this relationship between God and his children, you know. But I believe there's a fellowship that's involved in that that a lot of times we miss out on, and that's that fellowship with him. Because we can have that abiding under his shadow. Amen. Yes, amen. You want amen. to be close to him, like you said. you got to yes. be close to stay in his yeah, shadow. Absolutely. Amen. Well, God bless you. We love you. You have a blessed day. And we pray that you stay close 
to your heavenly Father today. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen.